Oh, shit! <laughs> I dropped straight down on him, man. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> I have this. First You're gonna dodge my attack. I'm gonna have to do that. All right. So all, all the enemies respawn when you sleep. That's something I was wondering about, and then I forgot as we were. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, whoa! Did you see that shit? In like midair, he turned himself around. Ridiculous, quite honestly. But hey, I'm down to having enemies to kill once more. Every little bit of XP, after all. Okay, so let's see. Where does she want me to go for this? I have to go to the end of the western docks. Okay, I can do that. Although I wish I could go fast. And I wish the the vicinity of these areas weren't as big as they are. I wanna I wanna go super fast. I wanna spam my dodge, because I still I feel like it's faster. Uh oh! <laughs> Saw us pull out our weapon, and I'm like, well, I know we probably passed by a couple of guys, but are we acting to fight? And it turned out, yeah. Yeah, we were getting shot at. Skulls definitely don't stand much of a chance. I can just combo so many things. It's great. Hey guys! I try to dodge. Ow! Look, man, he, if you don't let me parry you, you're just gonna die to my constant attempts to stun. Just let it happen, man. So these this guys the ones who stole the house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I should investigate first. Oh. Hey man, you don't need to be like that. XP, yay. Killing all those guys. Giselle's stolen money. Oh. Prewin has some unethical ways of financing their war. I mean, considering how many people they're probably just drafting and brainwashing to try going out in a war against vampires? Yeah. He dodged it while he was in the mist? Excuse you? There we go. 
got what I needed. I definitely want like a supreme excess of points. So I can just pure focus on like upgrading blood and then maybe some of the other things. What could we do? Retrieve some gin balls from Tom Watt's stash. Where's that? That is over on the off the right side of the western docks. Okay. Uh, we know where the bombing took place, right? Because we just read an article about it. Well, that's way down here at Southwark. Yeah, okay. And then, retrieve the necklace lost by, say, more Fishburn. Which is around the docks. Alright, so basically we do a couple of missions around here, and then go downwards to Southwark, and that will clear us out for everything else. Any other missions we could do? Report to Father Whitaker. Oh yeah, we have to tell him that is <laughs> that the person that, that was working for him is dead. Okay. And then we haven't gone to the West End yet, so whew, gosh. There's a whole set of people we haven't talked to yet. Oh, hey y'all! I'll get over there. Oh no, don't run! for that. Wow. Okay. I definitely don't, still don't feel like I'm really getting the damage output to make this two-hander worth it, but we'll just keep it around. Uh... Is Giselle a little- yeah, she's the cranky lady. You again? What do you want? Looks like I found the money that you lost. I've identified the men who stole from you. You were right, they were members of some self-proclaimed militia. I knew it! Did you find the money too? They had already spent the money, ha! <laughs> no, here it is. Yes, here it is. They thought they could finance their activities with it. I never thought a man like you would be kind enough to... I misjudged you. Badly. I'm... I'm... Well... Thank you, sir. Will you give the money back to your comrades, then? Fuck those bastards who fired me. I'll give the money to Miss Gillingham. Her son Jack was a friend of mine. He was killed recently. Really? I didn't expect that connection, okay. Giselle was a friend of any Enid Gillingham's son. Man. Alright, all the different connections. I know you were friends with Miss Gillingham's son, Jack. Tell me about his death. Jack's murder has been a shock to the neighborhood. A sign that the situation is now out of control. Why is that? There has always been tension between the wet boot boys and members of the trade union. But a murder? That's a first. Who killed him? No one will ever know. One thing is certain. While Jack was alive, I had one less reason to drink. Oh, really? Why is that? Why does that upset you so much? I wish I had found the time and words to tell him how important he was to me before it was too late. Another failure for Giselle Paxton. Ah. Uh, well, okay. That's an unexpected thing from from her. Well, but there I'll you go. leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Huh. All these little connections. Okay. Yeah, no reason to generally keep what she had. Obviously, money is nice, but... 
So is XP, and so is just the, the knowledge that we did some good. I can't protect the whole city. Alright. I think the warehouse that we're supposed to go to is over here. So we just gotta kill this vote guy and we can move on. <laughs> Never even got a chance to attack. Alright, now where's the gin? Is he gonna be upstairs? <laughs> Ichabod's like right around the corner from a Vulcan spawn. A Vulcan spawn. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna just need the marker for this. Okay. I was a little further away than I expected. Thought it'd be in the warehouse directly, actually. Looks like it's upstairs, probably behind that door. Ah! Yeah, here we go. Forgot we had a key. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. <laughs> the amusement in John's voice. I love that. Newspaper article. Youth arrested for an attempted murder. Last night, a young man named Tom Watts was arrested by the police for attempted murder in the renowned restaurant, The Silver Bell on Percival Street. The suspect was spotted standing in front of the restaurant, pointing a gun at customers for about one minute without firing. Two witnesses promptly reported his behavior. Watts was arrested without incident but refused to give any explanation for his actions and only gave his name. His gun was loaded, confirmed the policeman who answered our questions. It is likely that Watts will feel the full force of his majesty's, majesty's court, uh, courts for this transgression. The young man shall be jailed for a few years at least. Wow. Tom had been in jail for attempted murder. Well, that's an intense thing to, to find out. Maybe you shouldn't have kept that in the warehouse. At all, really. But I guess he, he uses it to humble himself. He's like, this is how far I've come. Should I ask Sabrina if she knows about his past? I should. I definitely should. Lie to Tom and keep the gin bottles. For what purpose? I guess I could sell them. Being a bad person could be so beneficial if we wanted Good it to evening, be. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Let me add. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Please don't stay too long, sir. You got it, Miss Fishburn. I just have questions it's to ask lot. and things to take from your your place, honestly. <laughs> Alright, well at least Mrs. Fishburn is healthy. Can't say the same for some of the other people. So you have questions about the flu then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Your son, huh? Hmm. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed. But I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. Well, at least you're kind. So, I wonder what happened to Andrew. Did we ever find, like, an outright dead body for him? I think the place we found Jack. 
was where the is the place where we where we saw Mr. Fishbird. So I'm pretty sure that wasn't Andrew's body, but I don't know. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End, but it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. That is pretty rough out here, but uh, at least at least you get a home. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Mm. Okay, so I've been misperceiving things a little bit. I thought that... Oh... Wait a second. Who the hell is this other guy then? Woodbead. Oh, okay. All right. Woodbead. I thought she was related to Woodbead because I forgot his name. Okay. Seymour Fishburne is the son of Stella Fishburne. So the grouchy guy who was standing outside is related to Stella. Got you. And Kingsbury is in the social circle. But he's just, he's just the kid outside, too. Got you. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. Oh, that's a rough way to go. How do you pay the rent, then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. All right, maybe we should have a chat with Seymour as well. Do you have any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? I just heard the sad saint keeps on helping the sick and poor. God bless his soul. Aren't you worried about the conditions around here? Hate everywhere. The city will not sink because of this flu. It's the violence that will finish us all. Goodbye, Mrs. Fishburne. Well, uh, Take care of yourself. Don't worry, Mrs. Fishburne. I'm going to keep everyone alive. Or at least try my darndest. Hey, Rufus. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. Yeah. Do you have need some help? medicine? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, and I guess that's all we can really ask him. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. But where's Seymour? I thought he was over here, but you know what? He, I think maybe he's a little bit further in town near Tom. Okay. Well, before I can do that, I actually take, have to take a little bit of a break. Thankfully, there's a safe place right here. So, when we get back, I guess we'll ask things, ask more questions. And, uh... Hopefully, we can move on to the Ask Along Club, but like, I figured I wasn't gonna end up doing that. I knew we were just gonna run around and talk to people and do submissions first. But, next time.